Hello everybody, welcome to the next part of the Battle Tech playthrough. I do apologize about there not being a Rome Total War 1 on my sorry, Rome Total War 1 video on Monday. Schedule's been busy. I'm trying you know, I am getting this one on time. Worked on getting everything else this week on time. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything on time. Uh, I'm struggling to maintain five videos a week, so I'm so it's going to be hectic. Once Rome 1 ends, I think that one's going to be the one that's going to end the soonest. Once that one ends, um, I'll just go to four videos, and I think I can more easily maintain four videos a day. This weekend, I'm either going to be, have time to either record a bunch of it, a few videos in advance, hopefully, and get it released, or I'll be even more behind because I might be visiting family on the weekend. We'll kind of see how it goes. Um... So, last episode was a bit short, and this episode will honestly be pretty short, too. Um, mostly because I'm going to be doing... We're going to basically... The Temple for Battletech play games, things I've decided, is going to be one mission, one, one mission, uh, and done. One, one mission, done. One mission, done. I think that's going to be basically the temple I'm going to be following for this... Um, for right for now, it means it'll take a little bit longer, but also means the videos are nice, short, and sweet, easy to consume by you viewers, especially considering we had that big ass two hour video near the beginning. That one was uh, that was not my intention, and I apologize. <laughs> All right, so we have the Capellan Confederation Joint Operation. We're tracking local government units engaged in a secret military exercise in a remote portion of the planet's surface. That is an ideal time to strike, as they're likely damaged and exhausted from the operation. And we believe they are unaware of our presence. It isn't clear who the other party in the exercises is, but whoever it is, they're a potential witness, so we need to eliminate them as well. Opponents whose identities we don't know give me heartburn, Commander. You're not wrong, but it pays well. It's only a 1.5, so I'm willing to do it. It does mean that the, temp the planetary government won't be a big fan of us. But oh well. I'm fine with that. Lex I'm tempted to go... One, uh, I'm going to just take this. If we want to take less reward for giving more favor, we don't really want that. Alright, well, we're ready to go for this whole mission. We have get, we're have we're gonna keep Game Show in the loop right now. I want to get him some experience. Though I'm gonna switch out Pathfinder for Coach, because I want Coach to get some experience. Especially considering this is supposed to be easier missions, you know? You know, perfect opportunity to level up our weaker dudes. Get them ready and raring to go. I still think I need to start getting a little bit more mechs. I want to be able to bait. I want. I need to get two more mechs once I have enough money to kill. I want to get two more mech warriors. That way, um, that way, if my entire main division is either wounded or dead, hopefully not dead, but wounded, uh, it'll make it so I will have a backup crew that's ready to go. Especially as I get more mechs, that'll be more, more and more a possibility as time goes on. If you reserve a light mech until a round's final phase, it can take action the next round's first phase, effectively moving twice in a row. Interesting. Game show and glitcher and high spirits, which gives us a leap, a little bit extra resolve. You're approaching the target area, Commander. There's definitely been fighting in this region. Lots of low intensity laser scoring. Intel says the target lands should be in this area. Engage them and keep your eyes open for the other lands. Good hunting, Commander. Olivia are out. Well, we're gonna go through cover. Play it safe. Play it smart. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know if that's actually where I want him to be, but I want, I'll just keep an eye on that one. I see enemy mechs over there. Game show and the Jenner have actually been working out pretty well so far, so. Oh, we spotted the enemy. So, Game Show can attack. No, he can't attack, but he can sensor lock this mech. He's the defender. I'm kind of curious to see what this mech is. 
It's a Javelin pilot. Okay, good to know. There you go. Looks like there's a few things that moved off screen. The Jenner has been attacked, not too surprising. I'm gonna fall him back. He kind of did what I needed him to do. I wanted him to be able to sensor lock that target. I'm surprised just how many turns are going right now. Well, the game show is actually getting kind of beat up now. But whose turn is it? There we go. Alright, I'm gonna move him up. Hopefully, this should mean that I should be able to take my turns and kind of focus fire that pilot dude and the javelin, maybe. Oh, he's got no chance of hitting. There's a higher chance of hitting that one, though, so we'll do that. Boom! Left arm destroyed on the first hit. I like that. I like that a lot. Once he goes back to the game show sure, and I'm gonna pull him back a little bit, make sure he's less likely to be in the line of fire. You know, if at all possible. It looks like this guy is the one who's like the easy target. I kind of expected the commander to be the hard target, but he's going down per the defender, I mean. And who was in the commando to be the easy the harder target. Just the fact that he's a defender, but the pilot's actually the one that's harder to hit. Surprisingly. Yep. Every attack is a really good chance of hitting this dude. Apparently, it's the cent I can hit that very high chance of hitting with anything on this guy. Looks like it's going to be an easy deletion on him. Yeah, one turn and pilot is incapacitated. Technically, two turns was those that pre round, but you know who's counting? 35 the Panther. I like the name of that, honestly. I did actually some damage. Well, let's see. So assume that the one that just moved is the one that we haven't seen yet. I'm gonna pull him over here. Kind of just build a little bit on distance for him. It also might allow me to do a little bit of scouting. I'm surprised that evil was sensor lock. It was so hard to hit this target. I kind of want to brace him. But I'm gonna send, I use him to sensor lock. Maybe it'll make it easier to hit the guy. I don't know. So there's another mech that we haven't seen yet. Which one? This one's another commando, but it's a gunner instead. I'm inclined to... F oh! A yet another mech. So it's a lot of light mechs in this little battle here. They're trying to focus fire on by Shadowhawk. That's not very nice. But I am quite glad that even though there's a lot of enemy mechs, so they do have the potential of doing a lot of damage in a tr in a single round. But they're easy to kill a little bit more. They're easier to kill, sort of. I'm gonna move her a little bit, get her slightly away from the enemies. I'm so surprised how hard it is to hit some of these people. I'm gonna have to do a precision strike against this javelin here. Even then, it's only it's not a high chance of hitting. There's so many attacks just missed. I'm kind of tempted to. I can see if I, if he can hit with multiple attacks, I'm tempted to get him here. Jeez, zero percent chance of getting hit, of hitting these guys. I'm gonna move him here, try to move up a little bit, and just try and get into melee with these people. That's what I'm thinking at this point. It's ridiculous. Yeah, only light damage, not surprised. They're doing such a good job hitting with my, my guys. I'm gonna move up here with the blackjack. A bit unfortunate if I lose my really good weapon that cost me a million bucks, but you know, better than nothing. I both missed. I've had lower odds of hitting and hit before. Alright, well, 
Right side, we're a little bit closer to getting melee and should reduce the chance of Shadowhawk getting blasted, but that was a respectable amount of damage. I'll give you that. But it looks like he, these guys seem to be getting a little bit of heat on them. Ooh. Something just fired from long range at me. Nice so game show. We want to be kind of careful with what we're going to do with him. I'd like to get him to play and get involved, but I do have to be careful with the fact that they could very easily focus him down with the amount of people that they have. Which is why I'm trying to keep him in the back and under cover so he's less of a target. Fire everything! Absolute, almost, almost no damage with all of that. So much for fire, everything. It was... Yeah, my blackjack's getting a little bit damaged, not too surprising though. I kind of expected that. Okay. The mitigator actually took a couple hits. Okay. So once these guys go, it'll be our turn because they seem, they all seem to be in the same initiative count as game show. Oh, I have eyes on a restoration lance moving to my position. Oh, so basically we've got even more enemies incoming, so we got to deal with these guys fast. I'm assuming unless that's what they're talking about, but I'm assuming not. Wait, well, I destroyed the local government lances 25%. Mm, I'm not 100% certain how this is going to go. But I think I'm going to try and bomb rush that, that uh, I'm going to... Try and go here. Uh, hopefully that... I, I tried to make selecting him for melee, but I don't know if it actually is going to do it. No, it did not actually do it. That's that's actually kind of annoying. I thought I'd selected him for melee attack, but it turns out the game did not agree with me. Oh, never mind. There is more mechs incoming. Mm, definitely more max. You know, this one was just as easier than my last mission, but maybe I'm just not playing this right. That's now that's a medium. Now that's a pretty tough looking mech right there. Blackjack's definitely gonna suffer beating. I'll need to fall back after this. I was hoping to try and melee the guy and pop him, but that didn't end up working out for me. But I think I can get it done now. Yep, right leg destroyed. And looks like he should get knocked down too. Yep, he lost evasive. Most a lost initiative. Um, can I jump here? Yes, he can. All right, coach, I'm gonna try and get you to to try and deal with that guy as best you can. He doesn't really have a good shot of hitting with anything, but let's focus on this one. Okay, but first, let's reduce the remove the PPC, but only has twenty percent chance of hitting. Firing. Right torso and arm destroyed. I like that. I definitely trying to close the distance was the best, better choice here. Yeah, but the blackjack's gonna take a lot of no. My ammo was destroyed from AC5. Battle. Oof, I'm I might be out of the battle, or no, at least it was just one injury. Hopefully. It's unfortunate that the enemy just has so much more has so much more action economy compared to us right now. I can't hit him from there, but can I hit him from here, maybe? Yes, I can. Perfect. You got it. I need you to finish the job, Jenner. Uh, right there. Fire everything! Destroyed. Okay, he's down. I don't think the blackjack is destroyed, but blackjack has definitely been impaired. If not, if it was it wasn't destroyed. My goal is going to be to focus on these weak, smaller targets, and then go for the big targets once we have the advantage of action economy. Oh, I, there, he's backing up. Trying to get some distance, I guess, between us. And he has now is an angle on the Shadowhawk. 
She's taking a bit of a beating, but nothing we can really do about that right now. This mission might take more out of us than I expected. Not to surprise the video takes some damage, but I trust the Vendigator to be able to be just fine. That's what I pay him for anyways. Only two out of five injuries, so I should hopefully have my turn soon. I get to that javelin, I can probably pop him really fast. Oh no, she got into rough terrain. Right arm and torso destroyed, though. Though, I did not see. So those enforcers, though, we're going to kind of see how that goes. I focus on the Vindicator, thankfully. Not the Shadowhawk. So she'll be free to kind of fuck shit up for now. At least, for at least this round. Alright, I want... To, can you get into melee there? Perfect! You can get into melee. I love it. Wait, no, no, wait. You can get here and attack. Let's do that. Get him undercover. And also move a little bit closer to the target. I don't know who these people are. Though... That symbol looks kind of familiar. Is that the people we're working for? I think so! If that's the case, that's a little awkward. Left arm destroyed. Perfect. We'll find out. Oh, she kicked. That little javelin kicked back. Yeah, now there's gonna be a lot of enemy turns before it gets back to our turn, unfortunately. Which means in the meantime, Shadow Oxygen and we get peppered. Oh, good. Game Show gets to go. Maybe if I get Game Show into a nice position, you get something done. That's gonna. Will that cause him to overheat? I think it's almost an overheat, but it's not quite an overheat, I think. Perfect. Pilot destroyed. Alright, another one down on the enemy side. I think Blackjack is down, though, for this entire fight. That was a really unfortunate look that we had there on that attack. I think, sh unless the commando chooses somebody else, but if he attacks the Shadowhawk, then I'm expecting her to get knocked down. Just because she's now on unsteady terrain and how close she is to be. Oh my, that's close. But I think they have another attack that they might unleash. Yeah, the Javelin's just going full ham on her instead of trying to focus on the Vindicator. So that means she's going to get knocked down after this attack. Guaranteed, maybe? Yeah, she did get knocked down. That's unfortunate. But it doesn't seem like there was an injury? No, yeah, no injury. Bright side, the Vindicator can now get... And behind this. No, 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 no. What? No. No, you're kidding me. I was gonna go punch his face in, but now I can't do that. You're kidding. No, you're- that's- that's fucking ridiculous. I wanted to go melee that guy and the game wouldn't let me. That's- that's just bullshit right there. Honestly, the biggest thing that annoys me there is that that means we don't we're not going to get back the advantage in action economy now. I can only melee him the two spots, neither of which I would ideally I would actually want to do. Vigilance, firm, attack. Right armor torso and leg destroy. That was a lot of damage with one attack. Apparently lost some initiative too. I think I also gave her some extra initiative in an attempt to... So, so she might be able to go a little bit sooner than I than before. Oof. Still, she's taking a lot of damage. 
Uh, game show and glitch get to go now. Perfect. I want glitch to go first. I want her to be able to finish that guy off, but I wish I don't need to stay in the same spot. I right, pilot destroyed there. That commando pilot's gonna get away, I think. Oh no, it's not gonna get away. It's it's actually it's, it's still gonna fire. It's gonna get a shot off a shadow hawk. Which it shouldn't have gotten if Vindicator properly moved to melee like I wanted him to go. But unfortunately, no use crying over spilled milk. He won't be able to fire anything right now. He has um, too much energy. I mean, too much uh, heat. Wait, actually, he can fire. But I just need to make sure. He but he has zero chance of hitting, though. The short range laser will missiles. Yeah, everything's gonna make cause him to overheat. Let's just sensor lock it then. Javelin gets to go. Then it should hopefully be our turn. Ooh, shadow walk. Oh, that's not good. Finish it. Punt him. Perfect. No, but he's not dead. But he has no arms, I think. Ooh, right leg destroyed too. She's gonna go down. We destroyed our primary target. Now we need to do with those these allied forces of theirs. Can game show get into any position where he can actually fire at these people? Is that guy under cover? I think he's in cover. Let's try precision strike here. 9%, 40%. Let's go for the uh, torso. Fire! Destroy that guy. Perfect. Come on. He's gonna attack her, isn't he? Mm. I need to get her safely out. I need to just get her out. Called shot to... She's still alive. All right, coach. I need you to put this guy into oblivion. For some reason, he can't melee the guy. If I jump here, can he then melee? No. Okay. Well, we can move here and just finish off that commando at least. Just focus on getting one less. The nice, nice precision strike, maybe. Against his arm, maybe destroying some of his weapons will make negate this guy's a problem. Damn it! I was hoping to wipe that guy out with that, with like at least destroy his chance of dealing real damage. No! He just killed Glitch. The bastard. I don't want the Jenner just being obliterated. Um, I'm gonna move him under cover. Fire everything! The left arm and torso have finally been destroyed.
The Vedicator's barely been touched this whole battle. The AI did a pretty good job focus firing on that one. Because I didn't finish off the Commander Commando. Vinegar did a little bit more damage, but on the bright side, the next round, um, Coach should be able to finish, just finish this guy out without any issues. Right arm and torso destroyed. A little bit of short range laser to go pew. He's not gonna die. It looks like he's pretty dang close though. I'm surprised that last attack just didn't finish him off. Oh, he injured the pilot with that headshot. Okay, I need a move to be able to hit them, it looks like. I'll move up and try and finish off that commando. Overheat warning. There we go, I have to use my M lasers. There we go. Finish that guy off. I'm not too. I, I kind of. That was a risk I had to take, unfortunately. Yeah, he won't get into melee with that guy. Let's see, if I hop down here, I'll have a pretty good angle on him, I feel. Or if I hop here. Oops. Um, let me jump here. Let's see, where can I jump? I can jump up here. I think I have a better angle kill killing. Maybe killing this guy here. Because they'd be opening it into his wounded side. Remove the PPC. Precision strike. So, oh, no, not that one. Not that center of mass. Precision strike, though. Against his right leg. Well, oh, or his head, actually. Let's see his head. No, wait, that wait. No, the head was not actually the 48%. I thought it was. That was my mistake. That's 2%. What was the 4% I saw? Oh, is this one? I guess. I guess the, I thought it was something else too. I could go the PPC just to fire everything. Yeah, I'm not surprised the PPC missed. It seems to miss so much. But it's my it's my big hitter on the Vindicator for in terms of range damage. The Jenner might go down. It kind of sucked to have the have Game Show die. But on the bright side, he can. But he looks like he's lost all of his weapons. So we're just gonna bolt him into cover. Uh, Double time. Let's go. Maximum, maximum range is run away kind of thing with him. And I left arm destroyed. Last bit's gonna be bit. This is gonna be the last. This is gonna be the hard last little bit here. So much for easy mission that I was looking forward to. Thankfully, it was only the M laser that was, one of the M lasers that was lost there. I can't use the PPC, but I'm gonna fire with that other stuff. Damn, I'm doing nothing, no real significant damage here against this dude. Game show. Let's see. How far can he go with before he without being without before he can sensor lock? Can he go over here? And sense what's the range of sensor lock? Uh, where's the range? It's this blue area. I think if he goes over there, he won't be able to sensor lock this dude. So I'm gonna have to sensor lock him. Eighty percent chance of hitting. Okay. Which one does the most damage? This one. Fire! 
There we go. Best day to that boy. Honestly, I should have actually vigilanced him so I can go immediately right after. That was a bit of a my bad situation there. So we're going to do that next round, though. I'm going to pull the Jenner back a little bit more. I should hopefully be able to sensor lock this guy. Make it easier to hit him. Basically, the Vindicator is kind of in a 1.5v1 deal, duel right now against this guy. I'm trying to keep him inside the, the area to reduce the heat sink. The heat levels, because that's honestly ideal. For him to be able to fire his- Oh no, I forgot to do the Vigilance! Damn it! I could have gone twice in a row, I made a mistake. I have to, I have to remember to do that I get next time. Not but now, unfortunately, he's undercover. Ooh, he just destroyed my right arm, too. Oh, this is not good. I think he just took out the last of Coach's guns. You know what, script? We're, we're, just, we're charging in. I have some weaponry. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna sprint. Trust in the vigilance, allow me to take a turn immediately after. Oh, I guess I can't go immediately after, but he did, yep. He did what I was planning on doing, was just meleeing the boy. Punt him. I've, I, I think I have a slight advantage in the fact that I can do... ...in the fact that uh, I can do a little bit more damage than he, he can per turn. Fortunately, he wasn't quite knocked down there. So he gets to go now. We'll see what he decides to do. Oof. Left leg destroyed and knocked down the Jenner. Not too surprised there, but not how to heal. Guard for a nice melee attack. Vindicator, even though Vindicator has no arms, it's like it's like the knight. You can't get me. Full victory is ours. Well, I guess we see now why it was so expensive. Uh, we got a big payout for this one, but it's not worth it. It was not worth it at all. And Glitch is not dead, but she's injured for 95 days. Oof. Honestly, I was going to like be contempt to just restart if that was the case. Okay. So the Enforcer is the only one that I particularly want. The Panther isn't too bad. I do... Um, need some stuff to replace what I've lost. Let's see if there's anything good. Jump jets aren't really interesting to me. AC-10 is the one I'm thinking of getting. I think that's what I'm going to get. Why is my Enforcer not in there? There we go. But yeah, that... That was a, that was a tough mission. It definitely one of the situations where I think the damage to my mechs and the, in the amount of weapons I lost was not worth the reward I got. But I do think I I, I didn't look, double check. But I think that mission. I think those people. Yeah, I I may have pissed off my own faction. May me I may have pissed off my old faction. Word. <laughs> All right, well, so now we have four guys out of commission, and I th how long are they going to be out of commission for? 
uh, so basically this minimum is 35 days for having two of them back for a full group that's oof let's see bays how much is it going to be to make everything better let's see we all thankfully we only lost ammunition the problem is, is I don't have another thing of half ammunition. Oh, and but thankfully I do have an AC5 and HC2 ammo, but I don't have enough. I don't have a uh, a half ammo of MGs. Do they have a? They, and the, wait, do these? Yeah, these guys don't have that. Wait, they do. Have, oh, good. Hi. The prices have been increased because they don't like me. I think I understand why. I did kind of take a mission against them. Understandable. I'll get it the Vindicator. The Vindicator shouldn't take too long to replace. Though I did lose all, all of his weapons, including the PPC. I mean, it wasn't the best weapon. I mean, it kind of got blown up a lot. A lot, a lot. I wonder, can I equip an MG anywhere? I can equip an MG. I kind of want to do some MG stuff. The reason why... MG is that... I'm trying... I want to see if maybe it makes it a little bit better than just having the big guns. Now it's underweight, actually, which means I have more space for other things, but nowhere to put them, actually, now that I'm, now that I see it. Equipment. Well, I can put up some equipment. I can honestly put in some more heat sinks, which is honestly very much needed. So I can increase the strength of some of the armor stuff, too, so I have some spare space. It looks like that's everything I can potentially do. So he's going to be a little bit underweight. But nothing I can really do about that. Yeah, because there's nothing more I can increase. So that's all that we can do. Refit the Shadow Hawk. Honestly, I'm super glad that she didn't die. Honestly, makes me want to make it so... There's a torso. I want to make it so she has even more armor because I don't want her to die. We didn't have enough armor. That, that almost led to death, and almost leading to death is a bad, bad thing. But we lost so much stuff with her going down. Uh, we It's going to take a, quite a lot to replace it. We don't have more, any more heat sinks either. We, we're out of them now. Unfortunately for us, because our reputation, the price is a little bit more expensive than otherwise would be. Heat sinks one. Just kind of spread the one more heat sink. If you want to ask why, here's the reason. It's not even. We have one on one torso, but not on the other torso. Makes it unacceptable. Okay, there we go. I like that a lot more. Okay, now it's time for our weapons. So we've been kind of going with a punchy punchy kind of mode here. So anything that enables her to do that even more effectively, I will be more than happy to have on her person. Where's SRM ammo? SRM ammo, perfect. Um, so she could have some ACs equipped on her too. Which one's the light kind? That's definitely not the light kind apparently. Apparently, that was also not the hot light kind. Apparently, there is no light kind. Let's see. I want to see how much it goes with maxed out armor. So that's how much I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of the developers of this game right now. Because... It doesn't go to an even 0.5 or 0 0.0, and it's going to bother me forevermore. That's not going to be perfectly yet perfect. Uh, 
an M laser, an S laser. Oh, S laser would face the minigun. I actually should probably do that because I don't have any. Well, I do have minigun ammo. Go. Let's go with the S. I mean, what's the minigun damage? Minigun damage is 15 damage. While the S laser is 20 damage. Let's just, let's go with the S laser, see if I, how I like it. Confirm. Now, the Jenner is going to be an entire replacement needs, oh, we're not going to be able to replace the Jenner right now. We can't afford that right now. We're kind of broke right now. That's that's how much of a trouble problem that is. We're gonna be out of a job for a couple months. This is not not good, team. This is absolutely unacceptable. Can I accept a contract from anybody? Like, can I get a con a cheap contract? No, I mean not that kind of contract. I mean I'm a, I'm a new mech warrior. I do need. See how long are you out of? Position through 95 days, 52 days. I mean, we'll be kind of full by the time it gets back, but it's still a little awkward. So guts is, um, let's go for guts for more health. He deserves this. Game show. We already upgraded me. I'm going to get piloting, I think. Coach. And so coach, as I'm thinking of getting in piloting and guts. Let's go for piloting first. And then the store. Not store. Why am I doing hiring hall? There it is. Let's get Whisper as part of our crew. And then let's take the contract at Weldry. The easy looking one. To negotiate. We need more money. We need a little bit more money than that. And we'll we'll head over to Weldry. Uh, it'll, we won't. It'll take 18 days to make it there, but it'll be a lot longer before we can actually make it but do anything. So we'll kind of see what the situation is. Oh, but it's definitely not a pretty situation. We'll probably have to do another si three, um, three instances, like in more instances of having three mechs in the mission. No, the game, I feel like the game froze for a second there. Very unfortunate. But I think I'm probably going to end the episode here, guys, while we're heading over there. Um, basically, what I'll do is I will... Next time I, st I sit down to record and I stand up, this is what I'm doing. Next time I, you know, I start and make a new video for Battletech, what I'll do is... I can't... I know, I know. But, um... Brain stop working. Um, I'm gonna be able to afford it, but I'm staying for a moment. Sorry. Um, not yet. We don't have enough mechs. Our financial report's coming in. Oh, what's this? I just got a power spike in Medbay, Sumer announces. Uh, must have fried something. The power's out down there. A few minutes later, Darius and Dr. Murad are discussing options. It's a major relay. To replace it, I'll need to shut down everything connected for several hours. Love light support else and not much else. Can we just repair the relay without shutting everything down? Possibly, but I wouldn't recommend that approach. We just likely put down Med Bay's problem off to deal with later. Let's... let's see... Local system repair, I mean, honestly, we do not have, we, we can't even afford to pay, even with the Spartans. We're just gonna have to, I'm gonna pay this one, see if that helps at all. 
you'd say, we can afford to fix this right away. Walter should have services for in-orbit repair. Dr. Moratz says, I wouldn't expect too much given the Argo's age, but having additional trained hands should minimize the impact of what I need to do. Simier makes arrangements with a private maintenance company to hire a crew of ship techs. Dr. Moratz puts into work placing a bad relay in medbay and has the project complete with only an hour of downtime for the rest of the ship. As techs prepare to depart, their chief says to you, this Argo class is a real beauty. Never seen its like. Damn shame it's in such bad condition. Call us if you want more work done, alright? You thank him for his work. Dr. Moratz doesn't say anything but can't conceal her amusement. You know, I was hoping some bonuses would come from that, but parent, maybe we just prevented some negatives. But I definitely want my money back. Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't afford it even if I didn't pay that money. We just have to... We're gonna have to do normal, and basically the moment game the moment game show's ready to go, we will have to two mana mission. I know that's a very desperate situation. Class warfare. Raised voices echo down the mess hall, and you arrive to find Medusa nose to nose with Whisper. Oh, she's brand new, isn't she? I don't care about your noble family. You don't give me orders, Medusa snarls. Poking the other mech war in the chest with each word, Whisper lifts her chin. Even out here in the periphery, you should know enough to listen to your betters. Medusa's fist flashes out before anyone can intervene, sending Whisper staggering, blood erupting from broken nose. In the, in the dangerous silence that follows, the room finally notices that you have arrived. A single fork clatters to the floor. Pull punish them both, honestly. Whisper and Medusa will be unavailable for seven days. The following day, when you arrive back in the barracks, both the McWars are calmer and properly ashamed about their confinement to quarters. Pointing to Whisper, I don't care about your noble upbringing. I should know better than anyone how little that matters out here in the periphery. And Medusa, I don't care if she's a pompous jerk. You can't start fights in the mess hall. Looking both in the eyes, we're in a dangerous business. We need to be able to trust each other. And if a mech gets damaged from a friendly fire incident on the next contract, you'll both be out on your asses. Very, very wise decision. Our, our newbie caused problems already. So, I, I honestly don't see how we can... I honestly don't see how we will be able to pull out any of these contracts. Like, we have two mechs. We have two mechs. I'm not putting anybody in this mech that's a death sentence. Like, this isn't good. <laughs> Okay, team. Well, we'll see how well the situation goes next episode. Will we be able to pull off a two-man mission? It says it's only an easy mission. But this one was also an easy mission. And it almost killed my entire group. <laughs> and bankrupted me. I thought we were going to get, you know, nice easy payday. And uh, everything would be just fine. But we, but apparently the planetary government had allies with the Arana restoration. I think this was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit awkward. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day, night, evening, wherever you may be. If you guys like the video, press that like button down below, and I'll see. If subscribe to see more of my content, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.